Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I wanted to talk about the problem of gleards. So we have a problem in the tabletop role-playing game community, um, and actually fully within the Dungeons & Dragons community. So the vast majority of Dungeons & Dragons um, game masters today are gleards. They are people who have beards and wear glasses. And this is a huge problem. Um, if you look on nerdarchy.com, you will see a few, uh, a few comments over their well over a thousand videos now where they talk about the uniform, right? They, there was a joke that was made multiple times uh, on, you know, on the nerdarchy.com channel, which is a, a tabletop role-playing game commentary channel about, uh, oh, hey, you know, one of our guests is wearing the uniform today the beard and the glasses, right? Now, let me be clear. The Nerdarchy guys did not create the problem of the Gleard. It's been here for a while, okay? But I'm really fascinated by this. There, It is a massive problem that the the great majority of all Dungeon Masters are Gleards, people who have beard and glasses. Now, one of the things that's interesting is just, just thinking about it, okay? Why, right? So one of the biggest issues is why are there you know, hundreds of thousands minimum, maybe well over a million um, people who have made specific choices saying, I am not going to get, I'm not going to get laser, you know, laser surgery. I'm not going to wear contact lenses. I, and I, my, my eyesight is not sufficient enough that I can, you know, see without glasses. And now the majority of our and then also, I'm going to grow a beard. Like, what what happened that Gleards have become the majority of all Dungeon Masters? Right? It's, it's really shocking. Now, I, I think there's a very, very distinct... So, one, I actually think this is a huge problem. It means that we lack diversity within our community. And since that is the case, we must acknowledge it as a problem. And then we must fix it. Right? We have to do what we, we can to fix it. And so in order to fix the problem, we have to understand how it came about. Now, here's why, in my opinion, we have Gleards. We have Gleards because of sourcebooks. Sourcebooks are the A number one reason why Gleards exist. So sourcebooks are, so you, you create a tabletop role-playing game. You have a really cool game that has a cool rule book. And, you know, Dungeons & Dragons is split into three. It's the Monster Manual, the Player Handbook, and the Dungeon Master Guide. But, uh, and, you know, but beyond, and with those books, with any core rule book, or that, you know, that set of three that combine to be your core rule book, you, you have everything you need to play for well over a thousand hours of game time, right? But the community as large has said, that's not enough. We need to create these games so that they have dozens of, or even over a hundred source books, right? The moment you go into source books, you have really built a rich, fertile environment for rules lawyers. And I will tell you right now, I think the Venn diagram between rules lawyers and gleards, people who have beards and glasses, is absolutely massive, right? Uh, like the, there is almost a hundred percent overlap. I think almost all rules lawyers are gleards, right? And you know, because we printed thousands of source books, we have really, you know, we've built, we've put down, you know, rich, verdant mulch to get gleards in our community. And so it's one of the reasons why, for a long time, I've been calling for the end of source books. I think they're an absolute bane on our community, right? The other, the other thing that I think has, uh, has caused us to have a, a glut of gleards, a gleared glut, is the uh, the focus on tabletop role-playing games on combat, okay? Now, I, I am a huge fan of Dungeons & Dragons, and I think one of the best things that came out of Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition is the absolute distillation of what Dungeons & Dragons is. Interaction, exploration, and combat. All right, so they're saying, you know, Mike Merles kind of took it out and he said, Combat should never be more than one third of your game, right? Which I think that, that's a great rule set, which means it is the minority of your game. And yet, in my opinion, 
the reason we have gleards, the reason gleards are the majority of all dungeon masters, is because we uh, is because our games are most of the time the majority of games are combat, right? And you, and and if you think I'm wrong here, just you know go on uh, you go on YouTube at any point and just spin up and bring up a live game, and you're not going to go more than 45 minutes without a combat. And when you hit that combat, that combat could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours long, right? You know, and so, and this this is this has really attracted gleards, right? So why is it a problem that that we have these gleards, right? Well, the, the real answer on why we have a, why gleards are a problem are Jostens, Jane Austen fans. Jostens, there are absolutely millions of Jostens. They are they are fans of the writer Jane Austen. They're all they're almost all brilliant. They can tell you exactly who you know who is the, what is the name of Elizabeth's father, right? And and what is the name of Darcy's sister, right? They're just like us. They they know these incredibly intricate worlds in high detail. Jostens are fantastic sources for tabletop role-playing game for dungeon masters to be dungeon masters they're absolutely perfect right they're literate most of them can write they can read right they're fantastic there are millions of them if we were to just get half of all the jostens that are out there we could instantly double or triple the dungeons and dragons community and yet the reality is it is my opinion that less than five percent of jostens play tabletop role-playing games and I would go even further and say that it's probably like 1%, right? And that's, that's a huge problem. It has to get fixed. It really has to get fixed. So we have a pro problem called the Gleards, and we have a huge opportunity called the Jostens. And we really need to think about this, and we need to get there. So we have to fix our problem, and we have to seize our opportunity. Take care, everybody.